Okay, so this problem is trying to find out the centroid for this compounded area. The first thing you do is try to divide the shapes to the shape that you are familiar with. Because yes, we all know the centroid for the rectangular is in the center. So what we do is try to number these two areas. And then what you are going to do is try to set up a nice table so that you can try to calculate what is the area for the area number one and area number two. I highly recommend you to keep the original numbers here in case if you made any mistake, it's not going to be carried over for your final results. So the next thing you are going to do for this table is try to find out what is the x bar and the y bar which is the centroid for the area number one and area number two. However, before we try to fill out these two columns, what you need to do is try to set up a coordinate system so that we can write down what is exactly x bar and y bar. So you may ask me, can I set up my coordinate system somewhere here, somewhere there? Yes, you can. The final answer is going to be different. The number is going to be different, but the location of the centroid will be the same. Typically, we like to set up the coordinate system at the very left corner here. Okay, so now you can see, based on this coordinate system here, what is the x bar for the centroid area number one? That's going to be 75. The y bar will be half of the 30, that's going to be 15. So for the area number two, it's going to be the same thing. The location for the centroid here will be 75. So what is the number for the y bar? We need to fill up here. Will it be half of the 150 or it's going to be something else? So you need to keep it in your mind always based on your coordinate system here. We can see if we go halfway of 150, it's only to the line here, it's not to the x-axis. So that's why we need to add this 30 millimeter in the calculation. So what you do right now is try to calculate these two columns based on all the information you gathered here. So you multiply x bar to the area A to fill out the number here. So what you do, finally, try to summarize three columns here. Because that's all the values you are going to need it to calculate centroid. So the system centroid for this compounded area, based on the equation here, will be the total number from this column divided by the total area. So after you got all these values, I highly recommend you to do one more thing. Try to mark it back to the original shape to see if your answer makes sense or not. And you can see it's not way of your area, which means your answer makes sense now. Mm -hmm.